Howdy viewers, Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. This is showing some locations. Now, the first location I'm showing is the location of a treasure box on the Wapiti Indian Reservation. And it's not here, but it contains a jewelry bag and some other valuables. And I'm wandering around here, but I can tell you it's actually at another bridge, which I'm having Arthur run toward. Arthur just landed on the lockbox. Now I'm trying to get it to trigger to where it says open the lockbox. So I'm going to have to move around here a little bit. And yeah, there we go. We've looted the lockbox. And it has rum, a dynamite, arrow pamphlet, and a large jewelry bag. Large jewelry bag is about $50 when you sell it to a fence. And the dynamite arrow pamphlet would cost you money if you had to buy it from a fence. Now you can build dynamite arrows. And this is the recipe on how to do that and what you need. So, yeah, you can craft dynamite arrows, which are really good for hunting cougars, which you have to do in order to be a master hunter. And I'll explain why later when I get to that point. But now I'm going to go to another location that's interesting and show you the area on the map. I did some hunting on the way here. Now, this is actually an unusual location that Ar Arthur will draw in his sketchbook. You see, inspect the site. And it's a mysterious hill home, and he will draw in his sketchbook. Uh, I wonder who lived here. Now, on the map, if you look on the map here, and I'll show you where the location is, or should show you where the location is, the hill home is not too far from another mysterious location. And if you look on the map, right here is the mysterious hill home. And then not too far away should be the statues in the cave, which I found hard to locate for some reason. Yeah, I looked around the general location for about three minutes, and I finally found it by going through this way. Yeah, some of these hidden locations are really, really hard to find. And yeah, right there, you see the entrance? Well, I'm going to get Arthur's health back up, at least his health core, before I enter. And then I'll show you the mysterious statues. Now that Arthur is all healed up a little bit. We're going to enter into this cave and it's right here above the hill house and let's go in and see these statues. Yeah, here they come. I'm guessing around the bend here. Yeah, here they are.
Now, these statues have buttons below them, and they're obviously of, well, nudes of men. And yeah, it's, I don't know. There's probably a YouTube video on what these buttons do and how to press them in what order, but I'm not going to go through with that. I'm just going to wander around here a little bit and then move on to the next location. Now, the next location I want to go to, I'm actually going to just do a fast forward to because it requires a little bit of a ride and you're talking about a minute or two of riding and video footage that I can cut down on to shorten my videos up a little bit. So again, I'm just going to fast forward to the next location. It's actually about two minutes worth of fast forwarding for this. Now, in order to get to the next location, Arthur has to ride down or Looks like he's going to walk down to the river because, yeah, the horse might end up falling down the hill. And even the hill looks a little slippery. So, yeah, um, I'm actually going to put a save in here before I go down this hill because I don't know what's going to happen. It could end up getting Arthur killed and, well... Now I gotta start over somewhere. So yeah, I'm saving as a precaution. And you gotta come down this hill to the river and you gotta do some walking and swimming to the next location. I'm staying as tight to the grass as I can because that is actually the best way. Some of this area, gravel and stuff can be slippery. And like I said, you're by the river here. Uh, yeah, you're going to have to do some walking and swimming. Okay, if you've played Money Lending and Other Sins, Part 1 and 2, I noticed Arthur's stamina has been depleting somewhat quickly. And I don't know if that's due to the effects of tuberculosis setting in. But yeah, after that, I've noticed Arthur's stamina has just really, really been... Um, well, slow to regain and quick to deplete. Like I said, you're going to have to do a little walking and swimming but you get to the area you need to get to, and you see this wonderful sight. Arthur draws a sketch and writes his thoughts on the whole thing. Um, found the remains of some poor bastard woman tried to go over a waterfall in a barrel, found it interesting, sad. I guess, yeah, those are Arthur's thoughts. Now, you look at it, and yeah, it's beautifully. This is a beautifully rendered game. 
the railroad bridge, the waterfall. This is why I returned to Red Dead Redemption 2. Also, after my first playthrough, I picked up the compendium guide and using that a little bit, I've actually had a lot more fun playing this game. Just exploring the world and trying to do some achievements has made a difference. And, well, I would urge you to try playing Red Dead Redemption 2 again and don't just play the straight story mission through. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave a comment. If you like this type of video, I post four video game related videos a week. And you don't want to miss out, so hit the subscribe button and bell icon to stay informed. And I thank you for watching this far. It helps in the algorithms, as does subscriptions and frequent visits to my channel. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.